Today we're going to venture off to a primitive campsite that I've been checking out on uh, the Texas State Parks and Wildlife website. Uh, we're at Lake Somerville. Well, not at the lake, but it's part of the property. The campsite that we're going to check out, it's a primitive campsite. Um, it's located off the west side of Nell's Creek Unit. It doesn't have a name, but it's off the road, near road 125. So we're going to do, we're going to walk through this trail and they say it's about a mile, a mile and a half to get to the primitive campsite. And as you can see, I brought bear. As you can see, he's, he's excited about his leash and everything, about his water bowl. So we're almost a mile in, but right now we're following this access road towards the Nels Creek Park. And I haven't seen anybody, just we saw one car parked towards the front entrance. That's about it. I haven't seen any person out here yet. But Bear's enjoying it. We got to go all the way down towards this road. It should end towards the flag pond. It's a huge pond that's only accessible through horseback, walking, biking, and that's about it. You can't drive your vehicle up to flag pond. You got to walk to it if you want to fish. They recommend you guys walk to it, bike to it, or horseback to it. But I'll be showing you the flag pond. We'll see how it looks. I've never been here before. This is the first time uh, experiencing it. So we're almost there. So we just found this. What do you think it is? Maybe a hog, coyote? Or... Nah, you can't get some of that. We don't know what it is. Right? This looks strange. Most of it's missing. I don't know if it was dragged over here by something or or what. It looks kind of fresh. You can probably see looks like a white something white over here. Let's see here. There it is. Well look what we found. The rest of that the bones out there. So this is actually a deer. and tore it up. Who knows what we'll find out here. So along these trails, look what we found. Some blue bonnets. Now it's the season for blue bonnets. They're starting to come out along this trail. So far, this is the only side that I've seen the blue bonnets. But I bet all this right here gets covered in blue bonnets. But right now, it's too early. 
some bears just desperate to get to the pond. It's a nice weather. It's cloudy. Um, as long as it's not sunny, because once it's sunny, it starts to get real hot. And bear, since he has a heavy coat, he wouldn't be able to stand the heat. But I'm, I'm happy it's cloudy. It's windy. We got enough water for both of us. So he's nice and fueled up, ready to go for maybe another half a mile to get there. We'll see. Stick around. So I forgot to bring the harness that belongs to Bear. So I improvised and I made it out of this long 20 foot leash. As you can see it's not tight, you know, I could fit my finger in there. He still has his collar. So I wrapped it around his legs and then towards the back. And as you can see it has a tail down here and that's where I can control him. And even if he pulls, it's not going to be too stressful on his body. So yeah, that's, that's how I have him now. Look at all this nature out here. So as we get closer to Flag Pond, you'll see this sign that says Flag Pond Loop. Either you go left or right. Now this is where we came through. And as we're coming through here, you can see along the trail it starts to get heavier um, along the sides but we're gonna go over here first I'll look the hawk he's looking at us but we're gonna go along this route and apparently they have one campsite primitive campsite out here and that's what I'm looking for I want to just check it out that way I can come back and know where I'm at and uh, camp out here solo now I do have to reserve the camp spot but uh, I'm gonna check it out first see how it is sure does look like it This trail's a little bit lengthy. I think Bear knows where to go. He's just pulling me. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the, the trail down here. Bunch of thorns. But we're right along Flag Pond. I doubt you can see on the video, but it's right around here. But I don't know if this campsite is closed or what. It might be. You can see Bear, he's just as confused as I am. So we might have to go back and look for the other two. There's two other primitive campsites to the north. But on that one, we're going to have to drive to the other side because, you know, obviously Bear, he can't go all the way down there. But uh, apparently it's across the pond over there. So we'll, don't. we'll see if we can go that way today or maybe another day across this here this is nice to to fish
got a duck there. No, I don't know what these are used for. They look kind of creepy. I'm sure there's fish in there. And this is, I'm assuming, Somerville Lake that some Summer Lake waters that comes through here and into the pond. And I'm gonna go a little bit closer. That way enough for next time. If there's gonna be any fish. It looks real sketchy over here. No, I tied bear there. Because I don't know if there's any snakes. Keep them away from this area. But let's see what's in here. See how the water goes through there and out here. I think this acts as a filter or something like that. Maybe to keep the trash away. It's windy out here. Hopefully I can hear me clearly. So we're along this bank and the water seems really clear. Yeah, next time I'm coming over here to bring my fishing rod and see a, and see, well, bear's trying to get in, but it's gonna get too dirty. Next time I'm gonna come with my fishing rod See if we can catch some. So now we're gonna walk all the way to the truck. We got about one and a half miles to go. Barry's tired, so am I. And for sure, next time I'm gonna bring my mountain bike. That way we can cover more ground. And I do want to check out the north side of the pond, those two primitive campsites. That way. I know for next time, whenever I do some solo camping, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come up here, and I won't be wondering where it is. I'll pinpoint it on my map. That way, I know for next time, and it'll make the camping a little bit smoother. So, you guys, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.